a roadshow theatrical release or reserved seat engagement. Is the practice of opening a film in a limited number of theatres in major towns and cities, for a specific period of time before the wide release of the film. A roadshow film was often presented in 70mm with six-track stereophonic sound. A successful roadshow movie, like South Pacific and The Sound of Music, had West End runs of several years in the one theatre. Outside of London's West End, in towns and cities up and down the UK, certain cinemas were classed as roadshow houses, and these cinemas were equipped with 70mm projection. Roadshow movies outside of London could play anything from a month up to six months, which was not unusual. The Sound of Music played for two years at the Odeon London Road Liverpool in 70mm, with the same print for the entire run. The Odeon seated 2000, and was a former Paramount cinema. A roadshow movie would normally have an intermission. Often there would be a play-in on the front of part one. On the start of the second half of the movie there would be another play-in. This was to let the audience know the film was about to recommence. And on many roadshow movies there would be a play out at the end of the movie. Back in the day, and I'm talking about the mid-1960s, when, when I used to go to cinema a lot, and roadshow presentations were still happening in cinemas. And it was great, because there was a certain style one had to do these films in a sort of present the films in a certain way and when I started in the business at 15 I was involved in that and we showed the ads and trailers or, or the ads and look at life or the ads and Patty news and trailers we tab in that means close the curtains don't bring the house lights up ready for the start of part one of say a big epic we had an intermission and a play in on we give it a couple of seconds of silence bring the footlights up with the tabs and then we go straight in with the play-in and most play-ins should have a start, a bang start, you know? You, so you don't fade it in, you, you just let it go and the people jump up and go, oh, 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 film's going to start, just like in a theatre show. You sat there, then all of a sudden the orchestra would kick in. And then on the end of the play-in, the, you bring the colours down on the curtains and if you had multi-colours on the curtains, you would change the colours throughout the play-in in line with the beat of the music, you know? All right. So we get to part one, and on the end of part one, or the first half, not part one, as in real one, tabs were closed on the intermission, play no music during the intermission, and then uh, just as it was the right time to start the second half, you start projecting with the playing on the second part. Again, you'll have a big bang to start the music off, and that may be people jump in the sense, oh, film's going to start in a minute or two. And sure enough, you bring the house lights down just before the start of the second half, you press tabs open, the curtains was open halfway and the picture would fade in. Fantastic presentation. And likewise on the end, you tab in on the end of the credits if there was any, or just type, type, uh, tab in on the end, bring the lights up and there'll be a play in and you bring the fade up a bit more. So people walked out with the music playing of the movie. Now that is how you presented a road show movie. This was, in a way, to make the whole screening an event. It mimicked what a night out at the theatre was like. Going to a roadshow performance was a special event. It was completely different from going to a cinema running continuous performances, where you could go in at any time during the movie. Watch it until that point comes around again in about three hours. Then leave the cinema.